hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today we are going to solve weekly contest 4 to 1 problems so let's get started with question number one find the maximum factor score of array okay so in this problem you are given an integer array nums the factor score of an array is defined as the product of lcm and gcd of all the elements of that array okay we have to return the maximum factor score of nums after removing at most one element from it okay so at most we can just remove one element only okay note that both the lcm and gcd of a single number are the number itself and the factor score of an empty array is zero okay the term lcm of two numbers a and b denotes the least common multiple of a and b and gcd denotes the greatest common divisor of a and b okay so now uh, let's understand this with an example here uh, example number one okay so this is my nums array given to us right 2 4 8 and 16 okay so here uh, how we are going to calculate the uh, lcm okay so we calculate the lcm like this okay let's say 2 4 8 and 16 okay all these numbers we have and now let's find the lcm okay so 2 with the 2 i will get something like this 1 2 and 2 4 8 and 2 8 16 okay so this okay and here 2 i'm writing here 1 it will be 1 and here 2 and here it will become 4 okay again multiply with, with 2 okay 1 1 here 1 and here 2 okay and here uh, if i divide it with 2 again i will get something like this okay so here what is the lcm 2 into 2 4 4 into 2 8 8 into 2 is 16 okay so 16 is my lcm okay now what is my gcd okay greatest common divisor so here uh, this is divisor by 2 this is also divisor by 2 divisor by 2 divisible by 2 okay so 2 is the common right so gcd is 2 and lcm is 16 okay lcm is 16 and gcd i am getting is uh, 2 right so 16 into 2 is 32 but my output is 64 here okay so we can also remove at most one element okay because we need to return the maximum factor score okay so here uh, let's try to remove one element from it so let's say first i remove this okay i remove this okay so now i don't have this two here okay okay and here uh, the factors will be like this okay four eight sixteen i have okay so if i calculate the lcm here so here uh, first let's with do it with two only okay two four eight okay again do it with two one two four again do it with two so i am getting here again what 16 only right lcm i am getting lcm is 16 only okay and now uh, gcd so greatest common divisor okay so two all the numbers are divisible by two okay but uh, let's check four so all the numbers are divisible by 4 also right here i will get 1 here i will get 2 here i will get 4 okay so all the numbers are divisible by 4 okay and uh 8 no 4 is not divisible by 8 okay so 4 is the maximum right so gcd is going to be 4 okay greatest common divisor so on removing 2 the gcd of the rest of element is 4 and then same is 16 so 4 into 16 we are going to get the output as 64 okay so this is how we are getting this output okay so at most one element we can remove okay this is important point okay so here in example two see we are not removing anything and without removing anything we are going to get the maximum score okay so lcm we will get lcm a gcd we will get one only okay in this problem okay one is the common and uh, lcm will get 60 okay so two into three uh, 6 into 4 24 24 into 5 okay let's say let's see 2 3 4 and 5 okay yeah so if i do it with 2 i will get here 2 okay yeah that's why we are getting 60 okay this is nothing but 5 okay now
now again with 2 1 3 here 1 here 5 here and now again uh, with 3 I will do it one time and then I will do it with 5 one more time okay so what are the factors that I'm getting here 1 1 1 1 okay factors are 2 into 2 2 into 2 into 3 and into 5 so here 2 into 2 is 4 4 3 12 12 5 60 okay that is why we are getting 60 LCM is 60 and uh, this series 1 okay and in this problem single element so LCM is going to be 3 and this series is also going to be 3 only 3 into 3 is 9 that is why output is 9 okay now this is clear right what are we are doing so we have to first let's calculate the maximum LCM with all the numbers with all the numbers and also calculate the maximum GCD with all the numbers okay this is one thing that you must do initially and second thing what we will do we will exclude one one element okay so first let's say I remove this two then I calculate the LCM and GCD then after that let's remove this four and let's calculate the LCM and GCD of two eight sixteen then let's remove eight then calculate the LCM and GCD of 2, 4, 16. Okay, LCM and GCD. Okay, so 1 by 1. So here we need to calculate the maximum LCM and maximum GCD. Okay, with excluding one element. Okay, just one element exclude. And in the end, we have to just return the maximum. Okay, whatever the maximum LCM and GCD I'm going to get in the end, their product into max of gcd okay so this is the basic thing that we need to do right now how i am going to do that okay how i'm going to calculate the lcm and how i'm going to calculate the gcd okay so it is very easy right so see gcd how we calculate the two gcd of two numbers let's say i want to calculate the gcd of uh, two numbers like uh, 4 and 16 okay i want to do the calculate the gcd of these two okay so this is nothing but let's say my number a and this is nothing but my number b okay so here what i will check here i am going to run one while loop okay in my while loop i am going to check few conditions okay and based on that i will do the operation okay so see this is a code to calculate the gcd okay so here what i am going to, to check while my b is not equal to zero okay so while my 16 is not equal to 0 okay so instead of 16 let's write b okay so while my b is not equal to 0 okay so inside this what i will do i will create one temp variable and my temp variable i am going to assign value 16 to it okay then i am going to update my b okay my b i am going to update my b like this uh, here i am going to update my b like a modus with b okay so 4 modulus 16 I will get what I will get nothing but 4 only okay and my a I am going to operate with temp so it will become 16 okay so now my a is 16 and b is 4 okay so here a becomes 16 and b becomes 4 okay I'm get what I'm calculating I'm calculating gcd of 4 and 16 okay so now next time my I, uh, I have to calculate this 16 and 4 okay so now again b is 4 this time and 4 is not equal to 0 so my temp will become b so here i am going to write 4 okay and my b is going to operate as 16 modulus with 4 okay not 4 modulus 16 this time 16 modulus with 4 okay 16 modulus with 4 and i will get here 0 okay and my a will become 4 okay a is going to become 4 all right now next time see see my b becomes 0 so what i'm going to do i'm going to simply return a so a is nothing but 4 so gcd of 4 and 16 is 4 okay a i'm returning so this is a simple code for that method to calculate the gcd of two numbers okay clear clear this part okay so now this is one thing okay let's ignore this for a while now how we calculate the LCM of two numbers okay so this is the code to calculate the LCM of two numbers so here uh, let's say I want to calculate the LCM of 
4 and 16 only okay so here i am passing 4 and 16 okay a i am passing 4 and here b i am passing 16 okay so here we are returning what a a is nothing but 4 into my b value is 16 and divide by gcd of a and b okay 4 and 16 gcd so gcd of 4 and 16 is 4 only okay so here what i am getting 4 into 4 i am getting lcm is 16 okay so is this right is this right let's check 4 and 16 okay what is the lcm of these two so here we can write it like this okay 2 2 4 here 8 and then 2 again here 1 and 4 here and then here 2 1 2 okay these are the factors of uh, 4 and 16 okay so here 2 into 2 or 4 into 2 8 8 into 2 is 16 okay so this is correct way to calculate the lcm of two numbers okay so i hope that you guys are clear with the lcm part and with the gcd part okay now what okay so now this is my main uh, method okay main method so in this first i am going to calculate the length of my nums array then i am going to calculate the factor score without removing any element okay so here long full gcd i am calculating the gcd okay and in this gcd i am calling this method array gcd passing nums okay complete array and here minus one simply means there is no index like this so i am not removing any element okay here I am calculating full LCM. I am calling this array LCM nums minus 1. Simply means I am not going to exclude any index. And I am calculating the max score here. Okay. So now how these two are working. Okay. Let's see. Array GCD and array LCM. Okay. So first array GCD. Okay. So array GCD nums and exclude index. So in, uh, here I am passing minus 1 in the start. Okay. In the start I am passing minus 1 in this part. Okay. So here here i am calculating i am iterating over all the elements one by one and here if it is excluding index so i will exclude it but right now i am not excluding any index because here i am writing minus one okay then the result is equal to minus one in the starting it is minus one so initially my result is set to the first number that i have right okay and then after that again i am iterating over all the elements okay next number so next time i am going to check the gcd my result will, will be operated as gcd of result previous result that i have and the new number okay so here i am operating my result like this okay then again i am going to iterate over all the elements and we know how to calculate gcd and uh, lcm right same way uh, array lcm okay i am iterating over all the elements calculating uh, lcm and updating my result like this okay simple code to calculate the lcm okay so once i did all this stuff okay then we have to calculate the factor score after removing each element so here running one loop and gcd without that particular index so i am passing that index and lcm without that particular index i am passing that i am going to update my max score as math dot max of max score overall score and now gcd without that particular index and into lcm without a particular index okay whatever the max so in the end i have to just return the max score okay easy right so this summation is accepted okay so this is what we need to do right and uh, i hope that you guys are able to understand today's problem if you guys still have any doubts then please feel free to ask in the uh, comment section so this is a solution for the question number one of weekly contest 4 to 1 okay so please like this video share this video with your friends and please subscribe my youtube channel thank you bye bye